It's a problem that still drifts. Ector County Commissioner is still trying to flush the reoccurring pigeon problem in hopes of taking steps towards a solid solution. Local 2's Don Log joins us live in the studio to tell us what they're doing next to finally clear up all the bird droppings at the building. Don. Stephanie, it's a lingering stench they've been fighting for months, and after a massive cleanup last month, maintenance crews hoping commissioners agree to a fix as soon as possible. The, uh, the bad timing with the economy, of course, we're already shorthanded uh, as far as funds go. Precinct 2 Commissioner Greg Simmons talking about the continuous pigeon problem at the Ector County Courthouse that was discussed in Monday's meeting. A frustrating process that they're ready to resolve. But it wasn't a budgeted item, so it was something we could have used that money for two different patrol cars or uh, things like that that would be more... Uh, in line with what we would have hoped to spend the money on. Commissioners agreeing to let building maintenance officials start taking bids on permanent solutions while they try to keep the building as sanitary as possible in the meantime. Now we're just trying to make sure that doesn't just keep happening over and over again. So. Since the massive cleanup about a month ago to maintain the cleanliness, maintenance crews coming out here once every two weeks for about two hours to scoop up and continue cleaning up the mess. And this is what they're going to have to do until the commissioners court can decide on a final solution. Building maintenance director Octavio Carrillo says a likely solution? Netting around the whole building that could cost between eighty and dollars and $100,000. On top of the 60000 in reserve funds the county has already spent cleaning up. If we uh, can avoid them from roosting in the in the honeycomb that will solve most of our problems with with the birds and the problems they've, they've caused for us so this issue can come to an end once and for all we want to make sure that the the workplace that our employees work in and that the public comes to is uh, as as clean and and safe as possible Simmons says the commission will know more when they get some bids back from companies so they can gauge how much they're willing to spend on a permanent solution. Reporting live in the studio, Don Log, Local 2 News.